Very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah. Carmelita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat. But I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Can't escape! 
Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust.